This is Barrel Monkeys, 2008 Shiraz McLaren Vales. And this comes out of the Redheads Studio. Now, we've offered wines from Redhead Studio before. What Redheads is, is it's a um, small production facility that was started by these winemakers in Australia. Now, these were winemakers who were producing wines for the big, big wineries. And, you know, working in the cellar, fermenting grapes and aging in barrels, and basically these guys were the barrel monkeys <laughs> in the cellar. And <clears throat> what they really um, wanted to do, they really dying to do, was make small lot, high quality wines. Um, so what, what they did was they found some of these small lot grapes because there was this um, overproduction problem in Australia, so you had a lot of growers with grapes that, that the wineries weren't buying. So these guys went out, they bought some of these grapes, and they found this, this bar <laughs> where they used to hang out, and they brought barrels over there, and they started fermenting these wines in the, in the back of this place. So they finally bought the place out, and now they make these wines out of there. It's Redhead Studios, and they're all these small batch wines. So this one is McLaren Vale Shiraz, see McLaren Vale's great, great terroir for Shiraz. A um, couple of different lots, some from the Wollonga foothills and some from the uh, valley floor. Um, fermented in small open top vats and then aged in American oak barrels, uh, in this case 50% uh, new oak. And so you have a real, real um, hands-on boutique wine here. <laughs> with a tremendous nose, wow. Wonderful spice on this nose. I get vanilla, I get ginger snap, I get um, blackberry. I get some nice mineral notes. Cinnamon, let's taste. So, wow, lush fruit on this wine, but you, you get a real zing of spice as soon as it comes into your mouth on your palate. You get those rich fruit notes like blackberry, plum, but then you get that spice coming over the top. It really kind of just livens the whole thing up. It's, um, it's cinnamon, it's ginger, it's um, you know brown spices, really, really, nice and, and, and complex, lively wine. Um, the tannins are, are pretty tame. They're, they're fairly supple. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's proving to be very drinkable. Although I would imagine you could cellar this wine too for uh, a few years because the structure is very good. Um, so, you know, this is the kind of wine that if it was made by an established house, it would probably cost twice as much. But since it's coming out of redheads, out of, the, uh, <laughs> out of the barn in the back of the bar, you're getting a really good value on this. Enjoy.